Welcome back you legends. Today I'm going to talk about the brand new indicator that I'm super excited about and it's the uh, Money Time Machine Smart Money Flow. How to use it, what is it, and what are the conditions to place a trade, when to enter and when to exit. So let's start out with what this indicator is actually all about. Well, this indicator, guys, uh, combines two things. The first thing is the smart money flow. Inflows and outflows of uh, smart money into any asset, and that's represented by these uh, green and red waves. When you see the red wave, it means that smart money is exiting. The green wave indicates that smart money is entering. Now, I combine that with a uh, momentum indicator that provides very clear cut buy and sell signals. Each one of these dots, guys, is a buy or sell signal. The red dots are the sell signals. The green dots are the buy signals, okay? Now, you can use this indicator on its own, but uh, for optimum performance, what I found was that you need to combine this indicator with the PPO. Really, to place any trade, you need three main conditions. The first condition, guys, is that you want the smart money flow to be moving in the direction of your trade. By that, I mean this. If you want to go long, you want to see the smart money flow rising. When you want to go short, you want to see the smart money flow declining, okay? That's the first condition. The second condition is that you want the short-term momentum indicator, and that's represented by these uh, blue and black lines. You want it to produce a signal in the same direction of the money flow. For example, you want to see a uh, money flow decline, and then you want, uh, and then you want the uh, momentum indicator to produce a sell signal. Here, guys, we have two examples. We have a sell signal on November third. We have another one on November tenth. And if we actually take a look at the chart for Eli Lilly, you will find that in either of these uh, cases, both on the November third signal and the November tenth signal, both of these actually produced a sell off and you would have been profitable on both of these. The third thing that you need, the third condition, is for confirmation. So for confirmation, you want the PPO to produce a crossover in the same direction of your trade. So let's go back to the same example that I talked about here. We have money flow uh, moving down, right? We have the uh, fast momentum indicator producing a sell signal, two sell signals. Uh, now, if we go by the uh, conditions that I set out, we would actually ignore the first sell signal for two reasons. Number one, money flow is actually stagnant. It's moving sideways. And uh, number two is that the PPO is still positive. It hasn't yet produced a bearish sell signal. So we'd wait for the second sell signal, and it's right here on November 10th. On November 10th, we have a bearish cross on the PPO, and we have money flow declining, and we have a sell signal on the uh, uh, fast momentum indicator. And in this case, all three conditions are met, and in this case, we would go short right here on November 10th, and uh, we can take profit whenever we want. But if you want to follow the indicator, you would actually take profit on the first buy signal, and that's at uh, November 21st. So you'd go short here at $543, $544. Then you would take profit right here at $516. So that's still a substantial profit. November 10th to uh, November 21st, uh, 11 calendar days, perfect swing trade. Now, let's take a deeper dive into the indicator again. I'm going with Eli Lilly, but you can really use any stock. So let's, for example, let's take a look at AMD. Okay, guys, now let's apply the same principles on uh, the AMD chart. And uh, in this example, I want to point out a few things that you can actually use this chart for. For example, between August of 2021 and November of 2021, there's a very clear-cut bearish divergence. Where is it? Well, uh, the price action has produced a higher high on November 30th versus the high on August 4th. But if we take a look at the smart money flow, you will notice... There we go. The smart money flow actually made a lower high. And that's the first warning sign that something is happening. Something isn't right. The price action has significantly outpaced the prior high in August. But the smart money flow did not buy with as much conviction. And we can see that in the money flow indicator. Now, that's the first sign. Now, let's apply the three conditions that I talked about to place a trade here. Let's say we want to place a trade in November. So what would we look for? Well, the first thing is we need to take a look at the uh, money flow. 
Is it declining or is it moving up? Well, the first thing we can notice is that between November and January, money flow has been declining. And in fact, it produced a bearish cross below the zero line on, let's see, January the 18th, okay? So the first condition is that we want the money flow to be moving in the same direction of our trade. And in this example, money flow is declining, so we want to place a short trade. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that we want the momentum indicator to produce a very clear cut sell signal. We have a bunch of sell signals here, but really the first and main sell signal that we uh, would be actually looking at is the sell signal right here on January the 4th. And why is that? Well, first thing, guys, is that we want the money flow to establish an obvious trend. And in this example, it is declining. So that's the first uh, So that's the first condition met. The second condition is that we want momentum to produce a sell signal. And it has produced um, a couple of uh, sell signals here, guys, in late December, early January. But if we take a look at the PPO, the PPO did not produce a confirmation signal until January the 5th. And so in this example, we would actually have two choices. The first choice is that we can go short on uh, January the 5th. The second choice, guys, and this is and this is a fourth condition that I added, and it's this. A fourth condition is required for optimum performance, which is smart money needs to not only be moving in the direction of your trade that is rising or declining, but it also needs to produce a cross in the same direction, i.e. cross from red to green to buy or cross from green to red to sell. And right here, guys, we have the first condition met, money flow is declining. The second condition met, we have uh, short-term sell signals. The third condition, which is the PPO, it has produced a bearish signal confirmation sell signal on January the 5th. The fourth condition, which significantly improves the performance of this indicator, is the switch from uh, green to red, okay? And that happened on, let's see... January the 18th, and that would mean that we would place a short trade exactly at the close of January the 18th at $132. So when would we take profit? Well, you can take profit anytime you want, but if you want to follow the signal, you would take profit at the first buy signal. And it happened, let's see right here, January the 31st. So at the close of this candle, that would have been, let's see, uh, a 13% uh, swing trade, a 13% profit to the downside. Okay, now let's uh, do that again. Let's look for another trade based on what's happening with uh, the smart money flow. So let's move forward here, guys. Let's just, let's fast forward here. Let's take a look at the bottom in July. Now, this is a very clear cut, very obvious buy signal for several reasons. We have the momentum indicator producing a green dot. That's a buy signal. Money flow is rising. It has produced a bullish crossover on, let's see, July the 14th. The PPO has produced a confirmation signal on July 13th. So we have the first condition, money flow is rising. That's met. The second condition, we have a buy signal on the um, fast momentum indicator. That's the second condition met. Confirmation buy signal from the PPO. That's confirmed. We have it on July 13th. And we have the money flow producing a bullish cross from green, excuse me, from red to green on, let's see, here it is, July 14th. So we have all four uh, conditions met. This is an optimum trade, so this would be an optimum trade based on the conditions of this indicator. We would go long July 14th, here it is at $78, and we would hold and hold and hold and hold and exit at the first sell signal that happened, let's see, August 9th. And that would have been a very nice 22% profit. In this example, all conditions have been met. And that's why we had significant alpha here, significant outperformance of the market. Okay, guys, let's take one more example. Let's take a look at PayPal. And in this example, we'll actually take a look at the weekly chart for a change. So let's take a look at the weekly chart for PayPal. And in this example, guys, we had, let's see, all the conditions met on, uh, here it is. Uh, the middle of November. Okay. And so let's go over all the conditions again. Uh, the first condition is that we want the smart money flow to be moving in the same direction of our trade and it is declining. So that's the first condition, Matt. The second condition is that we want to see a sell signal from the momentum indicator. We have a couple here. There's one here. There's another one right here. 
and both have actually been confirmed by the PPO because we have a bearish cross confirmation signal in uh, early August because the PPO remained negative throughout. So we have the money flow declining and we have a couple of sell signals and we have confirmation from the PPO. So we have the three main conditions met and we would have actually been able to go short right here, August 2nd, and yet again on September the 13th, and we would have actually just held and continued to hold, okay. But if we wanted the fourth condition, we would have actually waited until uh, November, and we would have actually went short here, and we would continue to hold until we get uh, uh, several conditions met to uh, close our short position. And those conditions are, again, we need buy signals from momentum, several buy signals here, although the first confirmation actually came here when the PPO went from uh, red to green. So this would have actually been our ultimate take profit because the PPO remained negative throughout and it only went green to confirm a buy signal here uh, in early July. And that would have been, let's see, a 60% profit. So let's take a quick look again, guys, at the conditions. Uh, the first condition is that you want the smart money flow to be moving in the same direction of your trade. If you want to go long, you want smart money to be rising. If you want to go short, you want smart money to be uh, declining. Then you want to see a clear buy or sell signal from uh, the momentum ribbon. Then you want confirmation from the PPO. And ideally, the fourth condition for those conservative traders would have been, would have been a switch from green to red to go short and a switch from uh, red to green to go long. So there you have it, guys. I hope you found this uh, helpful. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to post them in the Discord uh, chat. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.